Hi, my name is Marcelo Baez and I'm a comic book illustrator and teacher from Sydney. Welcome back to the Sketch Your Own comic book with my friends at Stockland. I've been drawing professionally for about 12 years. I love what I do. I got to work for Marvel. They saw my portfolio online and liked what they saw. And basically they asked me to do a kid's book. And then after that, I did an Avengers project and a Wolverine project. And now, before we get started, if you look below this video, you'll see a download workshop material button. You'll need to click on that button to download the workshop material so you can print it out and follow along with me at home. And just remember, if you don't have a printer, you don't need to worry at all. You can still complete these workshops with some pens and paper. Alternatively, you might decide to print out a few of the pages only in black and white. If you did miss the first, second or third workshop, then don't worry at all. All you need to do is click the left button next to this video and you'll be able to play workshop one, workshop two, where we focus on comic character and character designs, and workshop three, where we focused on visual storytelling in comics. Today in workshop four, I'll be taking an even deeper dive into visual storytelling in comics. Scenes are very important because you get the idea of what's happening to the character, the way things are moving through the story, and you get a clear idea of the action and different feelings that characters are feeling during the story. Okay, so now we're gonna start with a simple warm up, a little bit of refresher from the previous workshops, but this ties in directly into some visual scenes. As a little warm up, I just wanna draw, again, a simple, super simple skeleton, ribs, hips, I'm doing really basic shapes. I'm not worried about detail. Detail will come later. Now this can be very simple. You can add small details for the fists, for the hands, simple as that. So if you do a little warm up like this, see if you can fill a page of some simple characters using that technique. Again, don't worry about don't worry about detail. This is just to warm your hand up. So when you start drawing the scenes, you'll be looser and fresher. And you can mix up your scales as well. Give your character bigger heads, smaller heads. Add as much detail as you want. You can even decide to draw side views, which might be good practice as well. Again, remember, keep it super simple. And if you need to refer to reference like the toys or action figures or photos, feel free. Simple as that. Stockland has supplied a workbook with a simple design of a ninja that I've converted into a tiny little pig with a big sword. Now, you can use that as reference to practice or you can draw on your own sheet of paper your own design. Here's where I'm gonna show you how to create your own action scene using a sword fight as your template. On the screen, you'll see three sections, section A, section B, and section C. In each section, there are different types of panels, some close-ups, some medium shots, and some long shots. Now, it's your decision to pick one of these as your template. So you'll pick one from column A, one from column B, from one from column C. So that'll be panels one, two, and three. Now, if you look forward, you'll see an example where I picked my three and then I've turned them into my own characters. Now, you'll see that it's exactly the same design, but completely different characters. Now, it's up to you to use your imagination and use your two characters any which way you want to use them. So, some practice time now. So, if you look in your workbook supplied by Stockland, you'll see there's a thumbnail practice page. Now, feel free to print these out or use these as a guide so you can practice making more thumbnails of your action scene. This concludes our fourth and final workshop on Sketch Your Own Comic Book. Thanks to my friends at Stockland. Today, we focus on part two of visual storytelling. Well done. As I said, stories are very powerful and visual storytelling can really appeal to a lot of people because you don't need to read a lot of things, you can just look at images and create very powerful emotions. As mentioned in previous workshop videos, I'd love a chance to see your character designs. All you need to do is upload the photo of your creation to the wall. You can also explore the wall by clicking on the wall tab. Your creations will then live on the Stockland wall where you'll be able to check out some other cool creations. And remember, 20 of the most creative creations will win a prize. 
The competition closes at 11.59 p.m. on Monday, the 4th of October. I'll be judging all these creations on creativity, storyline, design, and excitement. The top 20 most creative creations will be sent a limited edition signed Super Australians comic. This is a comic book which a lot of my artwork is featured in, and the top two winners will also win a signed limited edition print of mine. In terms of being notified, if you are one of the 20 most creative entries, all you need to do is sit tight. Stockland will be in touch with you via email should you be one of the 20 lucky winners. And don't worry if you don't get picked. Remember, this is just the start of your comic book journey. If you need a refresher, remember you can scroll back through workshops videos one, two, and three, so you can refine your skills even further. Before we go, I just want to reflect on what we've learned in this Sketch Your Own Comic Book series. Part one, character designs. Now remember, the main thing you need to worry about character designs is keep things simple. Start with simple stick figures and then keep building and keep practicing. Remember, when you get stuck, if you need to use reference, feel free to use reference. A lot of people kind of get worried about reference, but I'm always looking for reference. If I get stuck or lose inspiration, I take a photo or look at things on the internet or wherever, wherever you might find something interesting. Regarding part two of visual storytelling, remember, keep things simple again, refer to thumbnails, practice and do as many thumbnails as you want. Now I find personally, I'll fill pages and pages of thumbnails before I even start doing any final art. You wanna make sure you spend a lot of time doing little scratchy things rather than spending a lot of time doing a big piece and then you find there's something that just doesn't work. Try to nut out all your problems when they're small so then you don't have problems when they're big. My name is Marcelo and it's been a pleasure to host this Sketch Your Own comic book series. I wanna say a massive thank you to my friends at Stockland. Stay inspired and thanks for joining me.